Hey, this is Jim from the Magnuson Lab. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of furniture testing. Camp furniture is one of those things that you love, but you hate to see it break and throw it away. And we wanna make sure that doesn't happen. And that's not always easy to do with furniture that's meant to be light enough to take backpacking. And so this is something that is kind of a challenge because you're making a product that's so light that you can carry it backpacking, but also supposedly strong enough to handle up to a, I think in this case, a 250 pound load chair we're testing. So this is a fatigue test, repeated loading with a weight bag. So when this test runs, we do a couple, uh, couple of our variables that we like to control, and there's a couple that we like to kind of let the inner, uh, let the world control. We want the chair to stay where it is, but we're okay with the feet moving the way that they would when a user is in the chair. We also test on a really slippery surface so that the legs are moving as though uh, we're kind of in a worst case scenario. Hopefully, if we've done everything right, by the time we get to a completed chair like this, we won't see a failure. What specifically we would be looking for are all those little annoying things. A total failure is bad, but also if the experience of setting up or taking down the chair has changed, parts have gotten loose, it feels more wobbly. Any of those kinds of things are just as bad, really, and would be a failure. So we want to do testing to make sure that it's safe, but also that it performs well. We're going to talk a little bit more about furniture testing. We're going to do a dynamic test. We're going to actually drop a weight into a seat Kind of similar to the way a person might sit in a uh, camp chair. You've got a plate full of food, a drink in your hands, and you plop into the seat. Uh, right now, we've got the weighted bag suspended a set distance above the chair. The load is live right now on a quick release. And like Dave said, this will simulate you dropping down into a chair with a bit of force, which is pretty tough on a small, lightweight piece of furniture like this. All right. I'm ready when you are, Jim. Recording. Sure. There we go. So when we run this test, we'll go through the chair, we'll make sure that nothing's broken, nothing's bent. Then we'll give that feedback to our design team and our development team and we'll let them know. And if there's any issues, they'll work with our factories or with our prototypers internally, and they'll come up with solutions to make these more durable. This is a type of test that uh, we might perform, or we certainly would perform on chairs, but we might also perform it on anything else that would see that type of a dynamic load. Other things, we might do it on a hammock, which is obviously something where you have a person suspended above the ground, so that's one where you definitely don't want to see a dynamic failure. Like Dave said, we would like to check and make sure that there's not any damage that we didn't see, so everything would get inspected, and we even have special gauges we've uh, 3D printed to go through and measure the parts of the chair specifically and make sure that they are within tolerance. This chair did, did really well, and considering it's such a light chair, that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> 